I had the privilege of spending time with Richard and Rosemary. You can see the moment they actually got engaged behind me. They met at an independent senior living community last March, and they'll be spending this Valentine's Day as husband and wife. The most unique part about this story isn't just that they found each other, though. It's that they spent decades with their former spouses, living in a different state, raising their families less than a mile away from each other. Take a look. Welcome into our home. Richard and Rosemary's home is full of love and full of art. This is one of my favorites with the action and it brings out her Montana background. Rosemary turns her art into greeting cards that she then catalogs. One, two. Did you help with the cataloging? System? I did. Oh, yes, he I did. did. I'm yes. Her resident resident technical person. Perhaps the craziest part of their love story is how close the two live to one another in their home states of Montana without ever meeting. So how far away were you actually living? Probably a half a mile yeah, at one time. We we lived didn't we, know each other. We worked within blocks of each other for periods of time and I'm sure we our paths crossed. Richard and Rosemary say they don't believe it's ever too late to start over. I widowed uh, about three years ago and it made sense for me to move here to be closer to family. Same thing, I was widowed about two months after Rosemary was. My kids are both here and all my grandkids are here in Boise. After that, they both ended up moving to Revel Eagle where they met in the community movie theater. And this is where we, one of our first interactions right. with each other because we saw the video on uh, about Montana. It was a screening of my grandpa's fiddle that brought them together. And after that, nothing could tear them apart. It's not like we've got decades. This is probably our last, quote, golden harvest and uh, our last chance. And, and we wanted to be committed to see each other through that and be together. When you know, you just know. And after a few months of courtship, it was time to seal the deal. We had gone line dancing at a wine bar and uh, we were out in the car and I just turned to him, I said, would you marry me? No. And he said, yes. <laughs> Richard was sure to follow up with a formal engagement. Go ahead, you can finish it. Okay, a friend's party here and we went over to it and there was a lot of dancing and we danced. At the end, I got down on my knee and I said, Rosemary, will you marry me? <laughs> and the part that didn't show was, in my mind, I said, I'm on my knee now. Can I get up in the middle of the dance floor without... <laughs> <laughs> I didn't think about that at first. The two tied the knot a few months later in an intimate ceremony in Montana with their vows printed on the table for all to see. Richard, I love you. You complete me. You give me strength, encouragement, and self-worth. Rosemary, your beauty, zest for life, and intelligence always give me pause to marvel at how lucky I am. You make my heart sing. You are my final golden harvest. I love you, Rosemary Phillips. Their love is plain as day, but a lot of their friends and family were sad to miss their wedding celebration, which is when Revel stepped in. are such a tight-knit community and we really feel like we're family so it was really in my eyes the only thing to do was to throw them a huge celebration with their really close friends and just to be part of the celebration was a complete honor for us. Richard and Rosemary danced the night away and they continue to dance through life one day at a time. We're supposed to live in the present and enjoy it right now not what happened in the past or what could happen in the future. My say is right now. It's that attitude that's inspiring Rosemary to work towards getting a college degree. It's clear these two still have a lot to do, but they do want to remind anyone out there looking for love the importance of being content with themselves first. I wouldn't want them to uh, feel that they've failed because they haven't found somebody. That's not a sign of failure at all. They need to uh, pick up their own life and enjoy it as it is. And that's what we were doing until we met each other.
Richard and Rosemary had a lot of wisdom to share, but one of the big takeaways was that it's never too late to find your happily ever after. Reporting in the studio, I'm Sophie Dumani.